1926, during the pioneer era of air transport, Errol Lloyd and Junkers Luftverkehr AG joined together in Berlin to form the German Lufthansa. It quickly made progress toward its goal of creating a worldwide air network. In 1930, it opened a route to the Far East. The Eurasia Aviation Corporation was founded in China. It became the first airline in the world to establish an airmail service over the South Atlantic in 1934. Later, the use of seaplanes to cross the North Atlantic causes much excitement. In 1938, the future of intercontinental air traffic began to take form as Lufthansa flew nonstop from Berlin to New York with a four-motor Focke-Wulf aircraft. A year later, it became Europe's leading airline with a fleet of 150 aircraft. Lufthansa was ordered to shut down operations by the Allies at the end of the Second World War in 1945. As the new German Lufthansa resumed scheduled flights on the 1st of April, 1955, the founders resumed the tradition and pioneer spirit of the earlier organization. In the beginning, it flew between the airports of the Federal Republic of Germany. Later, other European and international routes were opened. With the introduction of the Boeing 707 in 1960, the jet age had begun. Rhein-Main Airport became the hub of Lufthansa's international network. In 1970, it introduced the Boeing 747 jumbo jet. Two years later, the first cargo jumbos joined the fleet. Since 1994, the German Lufthansa AG is a private company with an independent management. Lufthansa has had a decisive role in the further development of international aviation through extensive cooperation with other airlines around the world.